on FM, AM and online. This is BBC Radio Cumbria. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Heather Wainwright. Israel is speeding up the process of deporting hundreds of pro Palestinian. Cumbria police are dealing with an incident in Whitehaven at the moment. Officers have cordoned off the Duke Street area. No further details are available just now. Well, as a result of the incident in Whitehaven, the police are asking drivers not to travel through there for the time being. So that will affect you on some A roads. The A595 and the A5094 will be affected. It's really- Already cancelled due to the current situation in West Cumbria. The spinning yarns, painting with watercolours and pastels class in St Mary and St Michael's Church Hall at Egremont. That was scheduled to start at half one. Thanks, Gordon. Yes, uh, the advice really, if you're in the Whitehaven area, is to stay indoors for the time being. It's just gone half past 12. Time for a summary of the news with Heather Wainwright. There are unconfirmed reports that two people have died in a shooting incident in West Cumbria. Armed police are looking for a man said to be in his 30s with a shaven head driving a dark grey or silver Citroen Picasso. The registration ND55ZFC. The police say if anyone sees this vehicle, they should dial 999. As you will by now be aware, there have been a number of fatalities after shootings in West Cumbria this morning. Uh, what this means for your afternoon listening here on BBC Radio Cumbria, obviously things are going to be uh, slightly different to take all this into account. I'm with you, Gordon Swindler, through till four. Uh, I'm afraid that uh, your everyday fun and games aren't going to happen today because it just isn't the day for it. It's the day for the information that you need. John, good afternoon. Just tell us uh, what happened to you earlier. As I went into sea school, uh, I saw a body lying on the... Uh, pavement part on the pavement partly in the road uh, I just thought you know somebody had collapsed but there was people there so I didn't stop uh, carried on further along and at the top of the Neb Hill at Sea Scale there was um, a cyclist uh, uh, it looked as if uh, something had happened there because there was a blanket over that person I carried on down into the village and round the corner and there was a Range Rover with the windows uh, smashed at the front and looked as if somebody had been shot inside that vehicle. Phil called in from Whitehaven. He didn't feel able to speak to you on air and I think you can probably understand why when you hear this. He was uh, travelling along Duke Street in Whitehaven this morning, close to the pedestrian crossing, when he heard a shot, which brought him to a, a stop near a taxi. You could see the, uh, a body of a man lying behind the taxi, then looked across and saw uh, a gun uh, pointing straight at him. A hellish morning for people in the west and southwest of the county, and, you know, things are still developing, uh, we're told. That the chap that the police are looking for, Derek Bird from Rowra, has abandoned his car in the boot area and he's travelling on foot. If you're in boot, get inside and stay inside. That's a word from the police. The latest development seems to be that a body believed to be that of Derek Bird has been found by the police uh, in a wooded area near Boots, of course, in West Cumbria. Unbelievable scenes on the streets and indeed the country lanes of Cumbria today. We'll um, let you know what we know in full in about five minutes' time on your next news bulletin. We'd also let you know how easy or otherwise it is to get round parts of uh, the west of the county in just a couple of minutes' time after the carpenters.